power. 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 When Scotty Mack reached out to me a few months ago about coming back to PWR, I told him I would do it under two conditions. One, the old big hurt is gone. The guy who cracks people, who chases them off, who, I, I don't want to be that anymore. I want to be the North Star. I want to spread my demandments. I want to help this business go into the next century. Power. Number two, I don't want to be in any championship matches. If I have to go in and put a champion over because he's struggling, so be it. But I don't want, I'm not interested in any belt, anything like that. We move forward. I looked up one day and saw that I was in the Empower Championship Tournament. I called Scotty. I said, what's going on? He said, Hurt, one of the best way for you to help is to show these kids how to be a champion. So that was an interesting uh, concept to me because being a champion in this business, a championship used to be validation of the hard work you put in. But lately, it's become a down payment. I got so many inboxes, and don't worry, I'm not gonna flash them right here. I got so many inboxes of different promoters saying, hey, if you come in to our organization, we will make you the European Southern Coast Continental Champion on your first day. That's not the type of organization I wanna be in. I've seen those guys who go into organizations and become South Coast Intercontinental Coastal Champion on their first day. And when you take this away from them, they don't know how to operate. And because you didn't make them work for it, when they get one of these, they don't know how to operate. Power. Power. Now, there's good news for those organizations. There's bad news and good news. The bad news is you can't have her. And I'll explain why another time. But the good news is because this is happening, you're going to get an influx. There's going to be a lot of guys who are waiting around, hoping that one of these belts falls to them, and they're going to come calling you. And they're going to say, hey, I'll take that South Coast Intercontinental Coastal Championship. I'll take it. Just, just let me go. And you take them. You take them and you bring us, you give up, you send us your workers, your storytellers, the people who will put in the hard work every day. You send me a guy like motherfucker, I'll take him all day. You send me a guy like John May. You guys don't like John May. I don't know. Give me John May. Send me a guy like Nappy, who I'm calling the future of the business. That's me calling him that. Send me him. Send me a guy like Crimson Wolf, who I still, who I beat for this title, who I still view as my superior in this place, and I hope to get to his level. You send me a guy I don't really like personally, like Dylan Mason, who all he does is come to work every day and work on his craft. You send me those guys and you take the guys who feel like they have to have this for validation. Even trade all day. Now, that's for outside of PWR. For inside of PWR, I have a message to everybody who's holding one of these and everybody who aspires to hold one of these. I don't know where the Empower Championship fits on the echelon of PWR with the powerhouse and the power surge and the apex. I don't know where this belt is supposed to be, but I can tell you where it's going to be. Up here and higher. 
I've shown you guys for the last couple of years how I move without a championship. Now I'm going to show you how I move with it. I'll be seeing you soon. Power. Power. Glam shot. Power. Oh, you didn't take that one? Power. Oh, you knew better. I'll be seeing you soon. This fucking thing is beautiful.